Right now, Europe is in soccer heaven as the European Championships are in full swing. And if there's one thing Germans love more than anything else, it's soccer. I'm not saying it's a religion exactly, but it very nearly is. Soccer fever is gripping the nation like a shady cult. Well, I thought I should look into this phenomenon and try to explain the cult of soccer to anyone who, like me, is blissfully ignorant. So here is my handy guide to Germany's favourite sport. First of all, the game was actually invented by the English. It began as a riot between two villages fighting over a pig's bladder. It was also a great way to prevent overpopulation by removing from the gene pool large numbers of people who were prepared to risk their lives for a pig's bladder. At some point, I can only assume that the Germans discovered the game and made up some rules for it. In recognition of this great contribution, every time England plays Germany, Germany wins. However, the traditional game still survives, although these days it's normally played by the fans and the local riot police. I'm not sure what the scoring system is, but it seems to have something to do with the number of arrests. In the modern game, 22 millionaires chase a ball around a field. From time to time, the ball gets trapped in one of the nets at either end. If a player is touched by a player of the opposing team, he must immediately collapse and pretend to be in agony. Points are scored for acting ability. One team for convincing displays of pain, the other team for convincing displays of baffled innocence. When they've had enough, they go into the changing rooms where they're shouted at by an angry man until they agree to come out and play some more. When they do, they always go to the wrong end of the field, but nobody seems to notice. As well as the 22 millionaires, there's also a man in black called the referee. His job is to blow his whistle, point and avoid being hit by the ball. Also, from time to time, he stops the game and tests a random player for colour blindness. If the player fails the test, he must leave the field and go to be shouted at by the angry man again. Also, at this point, it's traditional for the spectators to shout at the referee. When everybody is completely fed up of playing, the game is stopped, and some retired millionaires in a studio explain what all the players did wrong. Meanwhile, some reporters start asking the players stupid questions like, how do you feel? And that is the game of soccer, the most important thing going on in the world right now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not send me a postcard? Here's the address. Or visit rubos.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my blog.